What are the pros and the cons of living in Argyle, Texas? That's one of the most common questions that I get from clients that are considering moving into the area. So if you're thinking about moving to Argyle or simply want to learn more about the city, this is a video for you. And please make sure to watch to the end because there's some cons that will not only surprise you, but can actually cost you money. Now, if we're just meeting, my name is Jaime Resendez. Welcome to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, where you'll find real estate information that no one else is sharing with you. All right, so let's dig in. Argyle, Texas is located north of Fort Worth, and it'll take you about 35 minutes to get into downtown Fort Worth itself. It'll take you about 50 minutes to get into downtown Dallas, and about 30 minutes if you're trying to get to the International Airport. Now, the very first thing that comes up when you talk about Argyle are the incredible schools. Argyle has some of the highest rated schools, not just in the surrounding area, but the entire Metroplex. We have a lot of clients that end up making their decision of where they want to move specifically for that ISD. Now, given that I'm a real estate professional, there's certain things that I'm not able to cover about the topic. So I'll leave school resources linked down in the description for you to check out. Another huge pro in the favor of Argyle is the small town feel. I am biased. Anytime I bring up small towns is because I prefer small towns. And with a population of less than 5,000 residents, this certainly categorizes as one. But what I found is that a lot of our clients really appreciate the small town feel as well. They enjoy growing up with the community, the Friday night lights, and the local shops. And Argyle certainly doesn't disappoint in any one of these. Now, another huge benefit that goes completely underreported are the property tax rates. Argyle's property tax rates are among the lowest in the DFW Metroplex, which really helps considering there's a good amount of new construction going on in Argyle. Which by the way, if you're finding value in this video, let me know that you're here by commenting Argyle down in the comment section. Because now we need to talk about some of the cons what are the downsides of living in Argyle? Now, one of those cons is a pretty significant one, and that's the cost of living. While yes, property tax rates are among the lowest in the DFW Metroplex, the real estate prices are among the highest. So while you'll be paying less in property taxes from a percentage standpoint, you're gonna be paying more in property taxes because of the value of the homes. So if you're gonna move into Argyle, you have to have a significant budget in order to afford it. This is one of those destination suburbs that a lot of people aspire to be able to afford. Now, another con to Argyle is its location. It's tucked away in the Northwest part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So if you need to get to the east side of the Metroplex, you need to pack a lunch. It will take you some time to traverse some of the neighborhoods into the major highways in order to reach your destination. And depending on the time, even getting into Fort Worth is gonna be challenging because you're gonna have a lot of bottlenecks that form on I-35 West and 377 as you get closer into the city. And given that most residents of Argyle do not work in Argyle, you're looking at a commute. Now, something else that I have to bring up in this location category is the extreme weather. I lived in Denton, which is right north of Argyle for years. And the amount of wind, the amount of hell, the amount of tornado warnings that you go through in that northwestern part of the DFW Metroplex is significant. So just bake that into the cake. Extreme weather is a way of life. And speaking of the way of life, another con are the things to do. You're not going to really find a lot of things to do in Argyle itself. There's not that much entertainment. Because again, keep in mind, it's a small town. We're talking of a population less than 5,000. So you're not going to find much entertainment. You're not going to find the nightlife you're also not going to find a lot of shopping, which is natural. Again, it's a small suburb. People are living here for the sake of living. They're not here for the sake of going out. Now, overall, our clients end up selecting Argyle over all the other cities because of the incredible schools, the incredible real estate, the lower property tax rates, and the small town feel. That's why we at the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel give Argyle a 4.5 out of 5. So if Argyle piqued your interest and you want to learn more about the city all the way back to when it was founded, check out this video right here. Or if you're ready to check out some real estate in Argyle, check out our list of preferred homes linked down in the description.